Here are some things that you can do to um, strengthen your immune system by uh, increasing circulation of the lymphatic system, of your blood, of your energy. Um, you can do many of these things laying down if that feels better for you. Uh, you can omit any of these things, of course, maybe even just using one of the things that you find most useful. Um, one thing to do is stand with your feet in parallel and with a little bend in your knees and to bounce. Let yourself be as relaxed as possible. Relax through your feet and through your toes, through your ankles your calves and shins, your knees, your hip joints, sacrum, tailbone. Relax your lower belly, your low back. Let your rib cage be movable. Relax around your mid back, around your shoulder blades around your collarbones, shoulders, upper arms, lower arms and hands. Relax around your neck. Let your head nod up and down as you bounce. Relax your jaw and your tongue and your eyes. Eyes can be open or closed. Let your breath move by itself. Let it be low in your body and deep in your body. And bring your arms overhead with your wrists relaxed. And your hands can bounce. The elbows can bounce and the shoulders can relax downward. Continue to relax around your belly and around your rib cage to let the breath move in deeply without strain, without effort. Relax the skin on your whole body. A feeling that there's space underneath the skin for all the fluids to move and to flush. Be aware of any temperature shifts, the heat rising in your body, flushing through your system. You can do this for as long as you like, even to 20 minutes or more. For now, just for the sake of time and sharing these things to do, you can begin to bring your arms down and let the bouncing subside. To flush around your heart, make a fist with your thumb on the inside. Swing your arms so that it goes hands back, elbows, hands, elbows, hands, elbows. Keep your feet solid and grounded. Press into the big side of your feet. Relax your knees and your hips. When you bring your elbows back, you can get a little thrust and to pull the shoulder blades towards each other and to create a little bit more heat in this region. When you bring your elbows back, keep your forearms parallel to the floor. Let your neck be movable. Again, let your skin be soft and relaxed. Notice the breath now in the space around your heart. Let the breath increase as it needs or wants. Continue to breathe consciously and seamlessly. Increase and deepen 
your breath into your lungs, concentrating on the space around your heart. Filling that space up with breath and awareness and moving it back out. Do this for some time. The longer you do it, the more flush you'll get. Let it be easy, driven mostly from the weight of your arms and adding a little push of the elbows back. Again, be aware of any temperature changes. Letting the pressure system change inside. It is and becomes a bit cardiovascular. And so you let your breath reflect it. Let the heart rate pick up. Let the blood move through your limbs into your belly, all around. Once you feel it, you've really begun to develop some heat and a little bit more speed in your heart rate and your breath. Start to let the arms also subside step by step. And you can feel free to do this longer. But once you're done, relax. Relax your whole inner body. And notice this vibration or buzz around your heart. And feeling that your heart is digesting the best of the benefits from that. And flushing it through your system. And do a little swinging side and side. Moving the fluid around your spine. Moving your lungs. Moving the digestion. The abdominal organs. You can keep your gaze forward. And you'll still get a twist in the neck spine. Or you can take your head with you. So the whole body, all its pieces are oscillating around the central axis. Use the weight of your arms to create the momentum. And the impetus of the swinging from the feet and from the pelvis. And letting the rest of the spine follow. Again, you can do this for as long as you like. Once you feel you developed some heat. You notice changes in the breath or in the internal pressure system, changes in your abdomen, let it subside step by step. A great posture for the immune system is eagle. You can come into chair pose with a bend in your knees, sit your hips back or your weight in your heels, elongate your arms overhead, warming up your legs, and also this bring a little bit more heat into your body, flushing your system. You're going to take eagle with one arm underneath the other. What other arm is underneath, that same leg comes on top. Wrap at your ankles if possible. Cross at your wrists if possible, otherwise you can also hold your shoulders. For this variation, pull your elbows down into your chest and lift your chest up into your arms. 
hug your armpits. So you're cutting off the blood supply in your arms and hug your inner thighs, lift your pelvic floor, cutting the blood supply off from your legs. Draw your low belly back, steady your gaze and breathe deeply, steadily, smoothly. Hold. 30 seconds to 60 seconds on each side and then undo and pause and wait and feel the flush through your arms and through your legs. Sometimes, especially if you're sick, uh, I notice for myself I can get dizzy if I do this. So bring your hands to your thighs or bring your chin into your neck and that should help. And do the other side. Again, whatever leg, whatever arm is underneath that same leg on top, squeeze your palms, squeeze your armpits, squeeze your arms down into your chest, squeeze your inner thighs, lift your pelvic floor, lift your low belly and elongate through your waist, go up through the top of your head and steady your gaze on one spot, and put your mind in your whole body, feel your whole body at once. Breathe deeply, smoothly, calmly. Staying 30 to 60 seconds or longer. The longer you go, the more flush you'll have. And when you're done, Undo arms and legs and just stand for a moment and feel the flush. And again, if you get dizzy, bring your hands to your thighs or bring your neck chin in. So I'll show a couple of mudras. You can do these sitting, um, if possible. If you need to lay down, then lay down. Take a moment sitting or laying down to settle. If you're sitting, keep your head, neck, and trunk in one line. So there is a central axis up through the core of your body. Relax your legs. Relax your belly. Relax your shoulders and your arms. Relax your jaw and your tongue. First, I'll share a breathing technique. When you breathe in, breathe in belly, ribs, and the upper chest, and the out, upper chest, ribs, and belly. In, from the bottom to the top, and the out, from the top to the bottom. If you feel any place that feels restricted, it's hard to bring the breath there. It's okay, don't force it. Just breathing as deeply as possible without strain. Let the transitions between the locations in your body be smooth and seamless. Let the transition between the inhale and the exhale be seamless. First, let your breath be completely quiet, silent, unbroken, smooth, no pause. In from the bottom to the top and out from the top to the bottom. 
Add Ujjayi Pranaya. Little constriction to the muscles at the back of your throat, like you're whispering or pronouncing the letter H. The breath will become audible, but still let it be quiet. The volume isn't the uh, point. It's not the point isn't to breathe loudly. The point is a little constriction, a little friction here to pull and push the breath. To open the pathway for prana to come in to the lungs. All the way down to the bottom of the lungs. Breathe again smoothly, unbroken, without pause. Let the breath become even, the inhales and the exhales even in length. If it feels comfortable without strain, without inducing any kind of stress, or shock, especially around the heart or build up in your head, and add a pause after the inhale. Let the pause be as long as the inhale and the exhale. During the pause, lift your pelvic floor, draw your low belly in, drop your head towards your chest and lift your chest towards your chin. When you're ready to breathe out again, relax, lift your chin and breathe out. You could breathe in for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out five, four, three, two, one. In five, four, three, two, one. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out five, four, three, two, one. Do a couple more and let the breath be smooth and steady and even, seamless. When you're finished, following the exhale, again, relax your throat. Let your body breathe for you. Observe your breath. Observe an openness in your chest, around your heart. Practice mudras, Garuda mudra first, <laughs> means eagle, you put your left hand and then your right hand on your low belly right around your pubic bone and bring your thumb pads together to touch so that the thumb tips point up. Relax. Your belly, relax your arms and your shoulders, relax around your heart. Let your body breathe for you, this is important, because the hand gesture will change how your breath is coming in and out, and it needs the uh, authority to do that. So let the mudra, the gesture, govern the breath now. And simply pay attention to the touch of your hands on your low belly, to the pulse between the pads of your thumbs. The feeling of sending healing energy from your palms into the low belly. And letting your breath change as it will with mudra. Watching, observing how the breath changes, 
and giving it the room, the space to do so. And when you feel that the breath has changed or that there's been some effect here, it could be 10 breaths or longer, and then move your hands up to the navel, still pads of your thumbs together. And again, refocus on your the touch of your hands on your belly. The pulse between the pads of your thumbs. Relax your arms, your shoulders, your heart space, your belly. Feeling the healing energy of your own palms circulate back into the space behind the navel. Let your breath change on its own. And when you feel like you've kind of deposited that um, new energy or circulated the energy around the navel and the breath has changed a bit, then you can move on to the upper abdomen. And same. Register the new placement where your hands are. The pulse between the pads. Again, check in with the relaxation of your arms, shoulders, around your heart. The base of your skull, your throat, your belly, your pelvic floor, your legs. healing energy from your own body and from the space around you directed into the upper abdomen enjoy make room for the breath to change to shift to balance itself and when you feel that, that balancing has happened Slide your hands up to the space behind the center of the chest. Let your thumb pads stay together, still points up, and spread your hands out so that the fingers spread and your right finger is pointing towards your left shoulder head and the left finger is pointing towards the right shoulder head like wings. Again, notice relaxation through your arms, shoulders. Let your hands be relaxed, though spread. Feel and register the new place of your hands. Regulating, balancing, sparking the light of healing in this spot now. Pulse between your pads. The way your openness of your fingers indicate an opening in your upper respiratory system. Let your lungs relax and open following this prompt. The hand gesture is a communication. You're communicating to yourself. How to balance, where to balance. Communication with the cosmos, the universe. Asking or gathering this particular intelligence to heal and to draw forth you know, peace and ease. And when you feel that there's been a change, relax again your hands on your lap or elsewhere. Just take a moment and see if you can feel this sort of overall change, all of the 
parts that have been touched. Low belly, middle belly, upper belly, the heart, through your arms, and the hands. This echo or wave Again, you can choose just to do one of any of these, or you can string them together. After I've done Garuda Mudra, I often do the Linga Mudra. So in this one, it's the left thumb is up, and the left pinky finger on the bottom of the right pinky finger, so that when you interlace your hands, the left thumb is up, and you hold the index finger and uh, thumb tips together around the left thumb. You can give micro pressure of your hands together. Again, relaxing around your shoulders, your neck, your arms, around your heart, around your belly. You can play a little bit with where the hand placement is. If it feels more charged, a little bit further down or a little bit further up. So will help to open the lungs, the bronchial cord. It's uplifting, energizing, strengthening, so that your system is strong, virile. And like all mudras, don't change your breath. Let the mudra change the breath. Feel the pulses between the pads of the thumb and index finger, the resonance between the palms, the life energy through the other fingers interlaced, two sides coming together, and observe any changes in your breath. If any time you need to yawn, a feeling of yawn comes, yawn. Notice if the eyes water or the mouth waters. Any of these changes. Make space for your body to change and to heal itself. Governed by this inner intelligence. And you can hold this for two minutes or more, five minutes. You may begin to feel a change in the upper lungs, upper chest, the passageway from the throat into the trunk. And this opens, relaxes, spreads. And when you feel it's done, relax your hands again and just take a moment just to sit and to feel. And sitting or laying, come back to the breath. Let the breath be smooth. Let the breath be continuous, seamless. Let the inhale and the exhale crossfade. The unbroken. And let the breath be without sound. So it's subtle, inner. the 
breath be even. Observe your body breathing for you and notice that you're not the breather. Your body is the breather now. You're the witness. This ability to really do nothing here. To not impose any ideas of what the breath is supposed to be now. It is just perfect, just right for you. And enjoy for as long as you like, as long as without strain your own capacity and enjoyment. Observe your whole body and mind more relaxed, a little bit more open, a little bit more stable and centered, fluid and easy. May it be of service to you and to your health.